I hereby call this meeting to session on this, the fourth day of the month of May of the year 2018. The purpose of today's hearing is to determine if, in fact, Mona College has been executing its best judgment in regard to student data and information. Uh, we have three representatives here with us today who will be posing their questions. And it is my understanding that Cecil has brought a translator with them so that we may all be on the same page. Uh, would you please introduce yourselves to the audience? My name is Cecil A. Sage Hen, and I'm here before you all today to clarify misinformation regarding data and information security here at the college. In the wake of the Cambridge Analytica issues that Facebook is facing, I am here to reassure you all of Pomona's commitment to providing a secure environment for all Pomona faculty, students, and staff. Wonderful. All right, all right, it's build your own pizza night at Mud, and I don't want to be last in line. Um, will the first representative please approach the podium? Hey, Cecil. So first, huge fan. Can I get a quick selfie? My mom's going to love this. Representative one, please. Nobody has time for this. Perfect. Let me just save this to a flash drive so I can send it to my mom later. use this one. Wait, no. Don't use a flash drive that you aren't familiar with. Hackers use flash drives to infect computers with malware and other viruses. Well, what am I supposed to use? My mom is already on my back talking about take more pictures and blah, blah, blah. With your Pomona login credentials, you have access to a box account. It's basically a 50 gigabyte flash drive that you can access from anywhere that has internet connection. Upload your image to box and you can go ahead and share the photo with your mom. Wow, that's chirptastic. <laughs> okay, so my question for you, Cecil, is the Pomona website says that I should encrypt my data in case my device is lost or stolen. Can you explain why someone would want their information to be in a crypt? I don't want my data to die. First, let me apologize for being unclear. Encryption is a type of protection that makes sure that your data stays safe. You encrypt phones, laptops, and even individual files or folders to protect sensitive information from hackers. When a file is encrypted, the data appears to be scrambled to anyone who doesn't have the password who tries to access it without authorization. File Vault on Mac and BitLocker on Windows are the most common ways of encrypting or securing your data. Wow, Cecil, you're so smart. I hope. Oh, okay, next up. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this was never going to end. So earlier this year, I received an email from ITS that was absolutely atrocious. Simple words were misspelled, random letters were capitalized, and to be quite frank, it scared the bejesus out of me with its phrasing. The email read, and I quote, your account is at risk. Click here to change password. I mean, I followed the instructions and clicked the link. However, this email is a poor reflection of the college, and I would like to know what ITS is doing to ensure that the college's image is maintained and not damaged by such poorly drafted emails. I, I don't think I should repeat that. Unfortunately, you've been caught in a phishing scam. Please stay on track. We can all agree that we would prefer to be out fishing. With all due respect, it's phishing with a PH, not an F. And essentially, it's when someone sends out an email and tries to gain access to your information. But anyway, ITS will never send out an email that asks you for your password or other personal information. If you ever have any doubts and concerns, call the help desk. They'll always be happy to help. They also have extended hours during the school year. Oh. You should probably change your password. Can we take a quick break? There's uh, some things I gotta take care of. I'd rather not. Are you okay? You seem a little hangry. I wouldn't be if we could just... Never mind. Representative 3, are you ready? Um, I'm not done. Well, can you please just get on with it? Sheesh, fine. So another question- Ooh, I have one! So, I like added you as a friend on Facebook, but you haven't responded to any of my messages and you keep posting spam all over my wall. Like, what's up with that? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't have a Facebook. It seems as though someone spoofed an account to be me. Spoofing? 
Is that like SNL? <laughs> mm, not quite. Spoofing is when someone replicates or creates an account to friend other people and gain access to larger groups of people's data. Oh, darn. Can we please get on with it, please? I'm begging. Representative 3, please come up, log into the portal, and ask your question. Finally! Okay, if I were to log into the portal with the password let me in, all lowercase, would the portal in fact let me in? You see, there are two parts to your question that need to be answered. The first being that our password standards won't let you have that as your password. Well, why not? Why is the school trying to control us? You see, this is the problem with- Your password should not be easily guessed or something found in the sample text. A secure password has at least eight characters with a combination of upper and lower characters, numbers, and special characters. You also want to make sure that it isn't close to your account or full name. That way, someone can't just guess your password. The second part of your original question that I would like to address is that should you type in your password correctly, including the case of the letters, the portal will, in fact, let you in. That's how passwords work. Ooh. Burn. That's it. I'm leaving. Um, you might want to log off the computer first. Leaving yourself logging to a computer that you walk away from is basically the same thing as giving someone all of your passwords. In other words... It defeats the purpose. Okay, I think this is a good place for us to end. Uh, Cecil, translator, thank you so much for your time and patience. Representatives, thank you for your questions. Everyone, thank you for being with us today. I hope this was useful for some of you. Uh, Representative 3, please go get some food for all of our sakes. (laughs) 